Aloha and welcome to Butterflies Botanicals for Beginners. I would like to welcome you to my channel and tell you that I started this channel specifically because I'm a plant novice, a novice plant mama. <laughs> and um, one of the things I had noticed that when I had started um, having plants is I couldn't specifically find a lot of the info that I was looking for when I was uh, confronting issues um, and especially like if I would even go to the big box stores and say hey I'm having this issue can you help me a lot of them didn't even know what was going on so I thought that I would try to help other plant parents by starting a channel specifically for plant uh, novices my channel specifically deals with a lot of tropicals because I'm in the tropics. I'm in Southwest Florida, specifically in Zone 10A. Um, I do hail from Hawaii, so I know more about tropical plants than I do uh, any other plants. I might have a few plants from other zones. I'm not sure because, like I said, I'm a plant novice. I did grow up with plants. Um, in the desert because my mom is from Arizona um, a little bit uh, with that uh, so I don't know uh, much about that and I didn't start having plants on my own until Hawaii and I only had like two plants <laughs> um, there's a little bit more background to that um, but I didn't really start becoming a plant connoisseur if you will until about uh, two years ago, and it really wasn't because of COVID. It was because we moved into this home and it came with plants. And at first I wasn't gonna do anything about it because I didn't wanna have responsibilities of taking care of plants. Uh, particularly here in Florida, it's really hot. And then it started to get to me that I couldn't let the plants not be taken care of. And so slowly but surely I started taking care of them and I really found that I had a love for these plants and um, that really started to cultivate my love for plants and it was really kind of neat to see that develop. And, um, but with that, I started making a lot of mistakes and couldn't understand what I was doing wrong. Uh, the only thing that I felt like I was doing right was using distilled water. Uh, this house came with a Syngonium, a Peace Lily, um, a Majesty Palm. Uh, I think it came with something else, but offhand I can't think of it. If I start walking around, once I show you what I have, um, it'll come to my mind. Um, something I noticed, though, is that a lot of the plants were sick. And with my minimal knowledge, I was trying to take care of a lot of the plants. Um, one thing right out the gate, when I started giving the plants the distilled water, I saw them all respond and they started having pups and blooming and growing and this was great. And then so, pardon me, I'm going to take a sip of my iced tea. It's a southern thing. Sweet iced tea. Anyways, um, I started purchasing my own plants and... Uh, you know, I started learning by trial and error what I was doing wrong. Like, I literally took apart a piece lily, and to this day, it's not been the same, and I have been trying to nurse it back to health, and I'll get it growing, and then it'll die on me, etc., all these other things, which I think I will go over in, <clears throat> in other episodes, but as you can see behind me, these are all plants that I have acquired uh, and have just loved growing. Um, I'm going to do a couple separate episodes uh, just because I've really learned a lot in the short time that I have been growing these plants. Now this wasn't a scripted uh, introduction video so I'm hoping that I'm doing a, a, a good job. Uh, I've done a couple test runs and they all seemed really robotic, so I hope that this is enjoyable for all of you. I'm a little nervous. Uh, this is my kind of, I've been really, really working on getting this launched and 
I hope that all of you really enjoy this. Uh, I really want to make this something special for everyone involved because I would like to build a community where we all can discuss what has worked for us, what hasn't worked for us, share ideas, because um, I want to have a community where we grow and learn together uh, and can provide the best for our plants. Now, I will tell you, there are a few things that I won't try. I've, I've been suggested a few things, and I have tried some of them, and it's absolutely destroyed my plans. But I am always uh, open for uh, suggestions and willing to try some things. Um, I'm also, you know, I'm all about life hacks, too, to see, you know, what can kind of, uh, you know, work harder, not or work smarter, not harder, and just try to really you know get to the crux of things but some of my videos are a little bit longer because I want to explain in really good detail I found that a lot of times when I was looking for a video they would explain something but it would miss I don't know about you guys but for me I kind of need a little bit more in-depth explanation about things a lot of times videos would just say here do this and then you're good and I'm like well wait how do I do this that and this so um, I hope that you can bear with me that some of my videos are a little bit longer. Um, I will do my best in editing as much as I can. Um, I, I thank you so much for uh, subscribing to my channel and liking my videos. It means a lot to me. Uh, I pray that this, all, this blesses and encourages you and inspires you and... Um, I thank you for your time. Have a great day and be blessed. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, no, don't, no, bye-bye. I have, want to show you my plants. Okay, as you can see right here, these are mostly all tropicals. Some of them are like reap pots from propagation right there. Some of them, like these elephant ears have a really great story. Um, these are actually all repotted propagations that started from one elephant ear and now we've got all this and a couple of them if you look really closely I've got one growing right there and then on this one I have one growing right there can you see it I think this one had I have one where there's two growing I don't know what I did I might have buried it because I was sifting the sand uh oh I hope I didn't do that I might have done that oops sorry guys I didn't realize I was uh, messing up the video here are some gingers that I bought from a nursery this is an episode all for itself same as these caladiums this is a pup off of a bromeliad um, this is the syngonium here is some dumb cane that I have an episode all for itself that I learned a very, very hard, tough lesson, and I'm so saddened by it. Um, I just bought the fiddlestick. It's kind of in quarantine. Here is, this came with the house, actually, this aloe, and I have been feeding it and giving it distilled water. Some of this is, uh, like I said, this is succulents that long story here. <laughs> I'll get to that in another episode. I'm going to pause you so you don't have to deal with everything. There's the peace lily that I was talking about. This was the biggest problem. All the leaves would turn black and I couldn't figure out for the longest time what this was. And like all this was diseased and really bad. And I think I finally figured out what was going on. This is part of the syngonium that I just showed. I actually had to pick it apart um, once again for another episode. Here's another plant that came with the house. Um, I've been really, this one was super duper sick. Um, it had all kinds of stuff. I don't even know what was wrong. I have repotted it and um, it, it's time to get repotted again. This is the bromeliad corner. Um, these three right here came with a guzimana. These were the pups. Once again, <laughs> learned lesson and story. This is um, my nori 
Galia, I'm sure I'm um, destroying that name. The the pup that you saw back there uh, is um, from her and the rest of the pups I've left on. I just wanted to see from a suggestion, from a video, if I could pull off the pup and have the pup survive. So this is the bromeliad corner. I had just pulled the other bromeliad that was sitting with me over just for video effect. Now this here has also been a labor of love. This is my bubblegum uh, trandescantia, and this plant got very sick very fast in such a short amount of time, and that is for another episode later. I will also explain that I learned just recently some stuff that this uh, is caused from thrips, which I didn't know. So I'll get to that in another episode. Here are some new plants that I had in quarantine and did some Nemo because they were sick. And I don't know what happened, but this just happened. And I don't know if this is from the neem oil and the sun and it scorched the leaves, but unfortunately this is all over the plant. And this is, that's my box of distilled <laughs> water bottles. Here is my pineapple, and I have made several videos for y'all for this because this has been one of my most exciting things that I'm really excited about, is my pineapple. The leaves are looking a little weird. I did do some neem oil to protect it, and I'm noticing the leaves are starting to be a little odd in color and in texture, so I hope I didn't ruin it. I'm gonna give it some food. This is Gigi. She is supposed to be a Tropicana Black. However, she has turned green, and I don't know why. This is a large elephant that I have been trying, a large elephant ear that I've been trying so hard to figure out what's been going on. I bought it from Walgreens, so that should be your first indicator. And this is another canna that I actually bought from Walgreens as well, and this is done I mean outstanding I just cut it back like a ton of stocks I cut like probably 12 stocks off and I've got at least um oh wow a bunch are dying I neem oiled it and I think I killed a bunch of stocks oh bummer and here's some of that bubblegum tradescantia that I had I propagated and right there is the propagation station and we have three more pineapples growing this is pineapple two, three, and four, and I don't know if you can see, but there are the roots of pineapple number two, and she is ready for planting. So this is, oh, and this is a calla lily that is just on the brink of death. I don't know what to do. Oh, and here are the citrus plants that came with the house that have also been very, very sick, and I've just been trying so hard. So that's hence the reason why I wanted to start this channel and get not only to learn myself, but to also have, um, you know, if other people can learn and glean from this, then, you know, that's great. Um, and, you know, uh, I just hope that everybody can learn and that we can all just be a really great plant community together and so on and so forth. I hope that you all are having such a great day and really just be blessed. Okay, bye-bye.